out of the blue corner, representing Studio 76 Jiu-Jitsu, Roberto. Roberto Jimenez. All right, guys, we're back. So we got uh, Roberto Jimenez out of the semifinal. Well, you know, let, let's con let's consult the uh, BJJ statistician here. Uh, how have these two fought before? No, never. This, this is, is the, the first uh, ever first time that they're going to face off. And to be honest, I'm pretty excited about it because Roberto Jimenez, one of the most exciting young grapplers in the game today, John Combs, always brings it. Kind of an interesting prospect of how this match is going to play out. Well, and I think Combs had that tech fall in his first match, whereas Jimenez had a bit of a longer match. And we might see a little cardio effect here. Fighting out of the red corner, representing Easton Training Center, John Cole. You know, one thing I like about Roberto Jimenez is that we've seen him grow here at Third Coast Grappling. We saw him at 3CG, I believe three, and um, he well, he's been in, yeah, he's been in several. He, complete, he completely looks completely different. Yeah, he has grown into a man. Yeah, 100%, you know what I mean? I mean, I think 3CG's been around for about two years, and uh, I mean, it's such a huge difference in, in Roberto Jimenez. And so, uh, you know, I'm excited to see, you know, is are we going to be able to see a new star within Roberto Jimenez or his opponent tonight? Well, he's a local in Houston, Texas here. John Combs. Well, guys, if you ask me how this one's going to play out, I got a, two answers for you. Either John Combs is going to snatch neck or... I feel that Roberto Jimenez is going to get the back. I mean, well, guys, you mentioned, no you mentioned what they before want. that if there was a weakness from Jimenez, it was his leg game. You mm -hmm. know that Combs got a strong leg attack game. He's been working that on it. That might but be a factor. You know, it's something that he's been developing more really to kind of keep pace with the, the technology nowadays in modern jiu-jitsu. But it's definitely not his A game. Uh, the shoulder's trapped there. Really, Combs just powered out of that. I mean, what do you guys think about John Combs' uh, spats well, you with know what? the shorts? Uh, it's a I deadly don't, combo. And I don't you know, like it, but I like I like this clinch here from Murdo. Yeah, because he loves getting to the back from here, right? Yeah, exactly. And Look he can hop patience. off to a trip as well. He can hop to his feet if Combs pop. There it is. There it is. Hey. I called it. Yes, and he's going right to the back. He's so good here. He's so good at getting to the back off that clinch. Beautiful movement there. You know, Combs really wow. overcompensated with that posture from the guard, and it allowed Jimenez to drop down, get that Kosoda Gari trip technique on the outside, yeah, turn I it into the like, clinch. I felt like Combs wanted to try and grab me out of that, but man, he's well, like a he's like a tick. Like Jimenez, he's like a leech. Once he gets on that back, you know, Roberto, he really comes off. And you know, there, there's definitely a skill involved in keeping your that clinch low on the waist and still being able to get to the back because a lot of times the opponent's hips get too high. You can't solidify the back. He's got but the body triangle as well here. This is Jimenez extra is difficult for it. Combs to get out. Very difficult position for Combs right now. Yeah, and you know what? So This is really tough mentally. You get into this bad of a position so early in the match. Yes. It, you know, it's very difficult to deal with. Obviously, Combs, strong competitor. He's been here before, but it's hard for anybody. It's tough. You get into a position this deep, as Howell mentioned. He's got that... that uh, body triangle, and it's very tight here. You see how Holmes, Combs doing a good job finding his head to the mat. That's what he needs to do. But there's no sweat here. Right, they're dry, right? They're this dry. is the thing, because it's early in the match. That's like, right. You know, they've had plenty of time to kind of recover in between the earlier first round matches. So it's going to be really hard for Combs well, to find a way out of here. One of the disadvantages of that, that figure four body lock is the person that's attacking can't adjust so easily. And so if there's a lot of sweat, the person on top can turn and slide out or kind of turn and face. But because there's no sweat, that sort of turning defense is much harder. Oh, look at that. Uh, great defense Wow, there. I felt like, oh, I felt wow. like Roberto was going to try and transition to a mounted triangle there, but gave Combs the opportunity to find a way out. And Oh, I like how Combs tucks his shirt in. You know, that's excellent classy. shirt tucking if, technique. If I like that. Usually from military guys, you get... Uh, you know, you get really tight. You know, just because just because you're in a tremendous match here at Third Coast Grappling doesn't mean you shouldn't look your best. <laughs> All right, let's see what happens with John Combs here now. Whether he kind of debuts some of his trademark oh. blitz passing, or whether he's going to drop back for a leg lock and kind of telegraphing that straight angle a bit, uh, straight angle lock a little bit there. But 
And I, I kind of feel maybe like that's a strategy. You know, maybe he wanted to set that up to set up something else. The physicality of uh, Roberto is is, is kind of playing him. Uh, you know, it, it's something in this match, right? Yeah. I kind of feel like he's dictating because of the size and strength. Well, he's definitely up at this point, but Combs does not seem, you know. He doesn't get at all. tired though. That's yeah. the thing. John Combs has one There's speed. There's that pass again. And go now, now on the, he's neck. On the head. Oh. He, he is likes that position. Oh. But Roberto gets his head out, and now Roberto in a nice well, top position. I'll tell you what, Roberto Menez. He's fought Pedro Mourinho many times, and he's no stranger to this guillotine exactly. position that Combs he's is throwing at him. It. He's felt it for that, sure. Exactly. He's ready for it. Nice pass there. So smooth. Combs with a nice recovery, but man, Roberto oh, just a nice leg work there from Roberto. If you saw that. You know what I like? I mean, obviously these, these guys are moving quickly, but they're it's mostly timing. They're moving at kind of a medium pace, but with such timing, it looks fast. Yeah, I gotta say, this is, Jimenez really showing a different side of his Whoa, game, but look at that, he's hey, up the on the guillotine so quick. And you see Jimenez, he knows what to do right there. Yep, Combs going back to it. Nice. I, I love that butt double there. Beautiful I timing. I like the relentlessness. Even yeah, the score I like that. Two now. Uh, kids, if you're watching at home, that sort of butt double position, doing the double leg or single leg, off the guard pull as opponents are cheating. It's such an underrated attack. It you really see it is. at a high level all the time. It was one of my favorites when I was competing. You can get so much use out of that. Man, Combs that training Combs out of the Eastern Training Center. The right there. Now, Hiwa, where is uh, Eastern Training Center uh, out of? Colorado. Combs, is, Combs is based out of Boulder, Colorado, Colorado kind of part of that great day Eastern Jiu-Jitsu network. Yep, Henzo Gracie black belt. And again, we see that same sort of passing style that Combs used in his previous match. You know, driving that knee through for the knee ride, and then he's pushing the legs to his side, kind of a no-gi bullfight pass, leg drag S sort of thing. And you can see Jimenez primarily pushing the head away to defend. And As the match goes on, that's going to be less and less and effective. One thing, Combs is a smaller grappler, and that's one thing I love about Jiu-Jitsu. Sometimes you get someone who's really skilled, and he's maybe smaller, and he's moving forward. He's putting the pressure. He's moving that's ahead. Right. That's right. You know, Jiu-Jitsu has one of the most even playing fields as far as athletes. You can be a little bit undersized. You can compensate with the technique, with the strategy. We generally have longer time limits than a lot of other sports. So again, strategy, tactics come into play much more than a very, very short time limit. You know, judo, for instance, is five minutes. Wrestling is six minutes. Typically, jiu-jitsu is eight minutes and above for high level. And that really helps to create strategy and tactics. And it gives people who are undersized or under-athletic a chance to succeed. Jimenez right, going for a hill of his own here. It looks Roberto deep. Jimenez go for it a leg looks lock. good. Heel hook attempt. Combs is rolling out. Now it might be a disguise for a sweep here. You may want to but he's got take the good back leg here. position. Combs is tied up here. This is something new from Roberto Jimenez, a totally new strategy. Well, Combs it looks does like, seem to be out of danger now. Yeah, I think Combs got his knee out there. That's the key factor. But you know, it's very interesting because I got to say, Roberto's guard has been pretty, let's say, lazy. It's been very, very relaxed. He doesn't really seem to be fighting so much now to try and sweep, get the back, wrestle yeah. up. He's just really. Happy well, kind of chill, right? We got he, about a minute left. We're so. tied here, so nobody gets the clear advantage on the choice in the overtime. So Jimenez would be good to score here, get a sweep, so he gets that choice in the overtime. But I tell you what, Combs is definitely looking to pass. He's not. Yeah. He's not waiting for the overtime here. And I think that he could have done. Uh, he could have done more from the standing position, but right now getting sucked into Roberto's close guard is a dangerous place to be. Yeah, I'm always I'm always a little bit surprised the competitors that allow the close guard to happen so triangle, easily because triangle. something like that can happen. If he can get the head and pull it down, we can see a finish here. This is gonna be tight. He's got that was short seconds time, 20 go. seconds. That's plenty of time. Well, I like to see a fist in the neck here. Roberto switches That's right, it to the he's reverse triangle it. right now. He's also working on the arm. I can't see the arm he's here. I don't know if it's hook. a straight he's arm lock. Hook and he's going to rip it out of the Kimura. There it is. Oh, shit. And he's it trying to pull tight. it out, but he's got three seconds remaining. Uh, I think Combs is going to cut this one That's going to be it. Thank you. Combs signaling for water. I don't know if that's a good or not. How much energy did Jimenez use there? Wow, it, man, it's gotta be so frustrating to have that position at the end of the match. 
I remember there were certain events that if you had a submission when the time expired, it would continue until the competitors fin you know, got escaped or finished. And I always thought that was a unique rule. That's got to be, it's tough mentally to come back from that. I think Roberto's going to elect to go close guard once again. Well, yes, he is. That's smart. Yeah, because we saw it. This is exactly the well, strategy he that he swept used in from the Rutolo match. He swept right? from here, right. and he almost got the triangle. It was right. tight. I think with more time, he could have made something with that. 100%. I e think, either I think a sweep see, or a finish. I think we'll see Roberto use a similar strategy to as he did against Rutolo. Try and come up, try and take the back here. Combs, for me, has got one objective right now, and that is to get up and to get out of that close guard. Yeah, I like that double bicep control that he uses. You can see he's got to be careful pushing on the leg like that. Yeah, that's going to get I the mean, triangle. I, oh, and here it is. There it again. is. Very easy. Roberto Jimenez climbs up the legs. Now he's got plenty of time. We're in the exact same position. Now I'd like to see a fist in the neck here from Roberto Jimenez. If he can put his right hand excuse me, his right fist in the neck. Switches he can finish his choke triangle. here. Now, if he sweeps from here, then he's gonna get the two points and he could win by golden score. And what is he gonna do with his right hand? Because he has an opportunity to yeah. either move that. There's the sweep, the it's gonna happen. Hey! That's gonna be two. I thought I saw a tap there. He's got the Kimura. Yeah, he gets the finish. Beautiful, beautiful. Great performance by both gentlemen. We got uh, Roberto Jimenez and John Combs. Well, I think Combs, I mean, I don't know, I'm not inside of his head, but it seemed like maybe he was a little bit too relaxed in that closed guard. I would say so. I mean, obviously he knows what he's doing out there. Tremendous competitor, but it just seemed like he allowed it to happen, right? You know, sometimes when you're in that moment, you can't control. A lot 